<coughs> okay. Um, I just thank you, House. <laughs> um, I just like to say something. Um, obviously, I I'd hoped for a few more people to turn up, but this is great. <laughs> um. Yeah, and and I'm sure that Paul would have would really have appreciated you all being here, you know, if he if he wasn't so busy in his retirement. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um he was he was kinda like a father to me, you know. And I know that sounds like really cliche and everyone always says that. But but he really he really was always there for me. Um and and he was always like putting his arm around me and, and giving me hugs and and telling me that I had a nice jet dress and stuff. Oh my god, yeah, his groping game was absolutely top notch. Um, I actually think he might have been one of those circus freak double jointed people because like he he could get his arm like right around like. Like that, you know? You know you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. God, I learned a lot from him. And he was so nice to everyone, you know? Um, especially, like, minorities. Um, and... And the other ones. Yeah, I mean, I think he saw in Herman someone who, no matter what fucked up should happen, would never complain. Like, I mean, literally. I mean, yeah, sure, he could complain, but it would always be in Slavic or Chinese or something that we could never read it. Ich habe immer davon geträumt, seinen Körper einfach so zu nehmen und 20 Meter unter dem Fundament zu begraben. <lacht> ich verarsch dich. Denkst du, das ist ein lieber Kerl oder was? Das ist ein Stück Scheiße, der Typ. Und weißt du was? Ich habe sogar schon hier Flüssigbeton gekauft, ne? Hier. Ne? Da wollte ich ihn nämlich mit begraben mit. Aber dann dachte ich mir, nein. Ich will ihn nicht einfach nur töten, denn das... No, but I mean, he's not. And I'm like, he's had such a hard time of it anyway, you know? Like, he's nearly 62, and his wife has just walked out on him after 40 years of marriage. Ich habe eine Nutte bei, bei Craigslist angeheuert, und die habe ich dann zu seinem Haus geschickt, um sich als Geliebte auszugeben. Und dafür habe ich ganze 600 Euro hingeblättert. Also, ich sag dir wirklich jeden Cent wert. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Good to meet you. Hey, I'm sorry to uh, spoil the party atmosphere. I just thought I'd introduce myself. I'm, I'm Ted Chia. I'm your new interim supervisor. And I'll be in charge of things for a while. I'll also be uh, leading the hunt for your, uh, your new manager. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um... Right. I, I think there's been a wire crossed here or something. Um, we don't actually need an interim supervisor. We were informed that one of us would be getting the job of manager. Are you aware, were you? Yeah, we were. Um, so I think you're just here to choose one of us and piss off, really. <laughs> Okay, so. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I've brought along my CV with uh, all the accompanying materials. Actually, there's a little photo book, if you will, um, which you can see all the... Yeah, let's just re re rewind a wee bit. Who told you this? Uh, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Paul. Paul. <laughs> okay, Paul. Oh, there he is. Nice wee photograph. The man of the hour. Paul. Did you know that I knew Paul? Did you? No. Mm. No, I uh, didn't really like Paul. What could you tell?
brace yourselves. It's just my CV. <laughs> See him. He's looking at success. Yes, uh, curriculum vitae. It's Latin. It's, uh, I actually studied Latin uh, back in the day, which you can see on my CV. Uh, what, what does it mean? What? Curriculum vitae. Oh, that's easy. That's, um, work experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Spoke it. It was a big deal back in the day. Um, in when they spoke it in in the land of Latinos. So, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, I'm not like the most confident person in my life. Um, like like my sister, she's way more um, effervescent. I think I should say. Oh God, yeah, girls absolutely love American speech to languages. Yeah, no, it, it's it's like a. A uh, double mind fuck, like actual double penetration of the brain. Oh like, yeah, buddy. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy. Um, yeah, no, my my Spanish tutor actually taught me that uh, when I was thinking about dropping the whole double language thing. You know, then I didn't even know what DP was. <laughs> she showed me the light. Oh man, die hat dir das Licht gezeigt. All night, uh, I think, is all, yeah. Light is good. Great. So like this one time, we were both at university, um, at the Freshers' Fair, um, uh, you know, like with all the societies, and she spotted this one that was the Single Men's Society, um, kind of like a support group. I don't think it was a society f for virgins, but it, it sort of was. And, and yeah, she, she sort of single-handedly disbanded it like by sleeping with all of them, one by one. And, and I think she did it for a bit. But yeah, I mean, like that's the main difference between me and her, right? Because, I mean, I've never done anything like that, you know, with anyone. Um, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flossie's a virgin. Fuck, oh, fuck, yes! <laughs> oh my god, what a nun! Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, it's just making. Oh, oh, I've got, I've got my CV now. Um, here it is. I, I wanted it to look like really professional, um, but at the same time, I don't want to look boring. So um, I just put some balloons on it, you know, just just small ones, um, and a gingerbread man because he's really cute. <laughs> um, and there's no man, um, so people can see how mental I am. It's not even Christmas. <laughs> I just fucking love snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> Flossie? <laughs> no, she wouldn't even try. <laughs> okay, um, how do I put this for you? Um, okay, there are shepherds and there are sheep in the workplace. And Flossie isn't as much a shepherd as a fucking shepherd's pie. What? He actually said that. Are you kidding? Right. Well. Fine. What are you serious? She's actually going for it. Excuse me. You. You're deliberately undercutting me. It's like cheap Chinese labour. You know, I, I, I'm a nice tailored suit and you're fucking Primark. Uh, well, I get paid exactly the same as you. Okay, don't turn this around. 
Anyway, you're not going to get it, are you? I mean, you're, you're, you're too poor. <laughs> no, poor, poor at confrontation is what I was saying. You're, you can't handle this job. You're... I mean, you don't have the fucking balls. But, yes, yes I do. I have bigger balls than you do. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, my balls are fucking huge. Seriously, you should see them. They're like fucking rocks. You're such a dick. Okay. <clears throat> I have balls. I've got big balls. Look, my golf caddy has bigger balls than you, and he fell off a ladder as a child and landed on his testicles. What? Doesn't matter, just... If I lose out to you because of some fucking state school quota... Don't even try. Okay? Um, okay, okay. How about this? Winner gets to fire the loser. <laughs> Fine by me. Yeah, I've been uh, observing them for quite a while now. You know, I'm, I'm having real trouble deciding which one I hate the least. Oh. You see what I mean? So, like, I know that people can't actually smell your breath down the phone. But, like, what if they can? Oh, Alter, Scheiße. Das, nee, das tut mir leid. Ganz ehrlich, Alter. Nee, ich regle das. Das sind, das sind alle scheiß Idioten hier, ganz ehrlich. Mach dir keinen Stress, ich regle das für dich. Ja, ja, nee, nee, nee. Mach dir keinen Stress. Alles gut. Wa warum ich noch hier arbeite? Persönlich. Oder? Ich habe diesen Job als reine Vorsichtsmaßnahme. Das ist nämlich der letzte Platz auf Erden, wo man nach mir suchen wird. Who's looking for you? Aren't you gonna read their applications? You want to read them? I lied. Okay. Alex is a driven, passionate young man with a flair for business, who likes to talk about himself in the third person, like a cunt. So these are the, you know, the personal cupboards. This is Herman's with all his uh, dead bodies. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry, that's the other one. Um, and this is Flossie's with all her dildo. Oh, again, the other one. And uh, this is quite a special cupboard. Um, if we peer inside, Beautiful. Oh my god. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> Alright, Teddy. Hey. So I heard you were looking Just to... stop you right there, huh? Oh, come in, come in. I've got a special word with you. Now listen up. Pow. Oh, fuck. No one on this fucking planet calls me Teddy. The only person who calls me Teddy is my dear mother who at the moment is in intensive care, refusing to fucking die. So I can't get my hands in my inheritance and fuck off to Brazil and lie in a white sand beach drinking fucking margaritas from a hairy fucking coconut through a plastic fucking straw. But you're not her, are you? Are you? Housing contracts. They'll get stuck in your back fucking teeth. And every time you shit yourself, which will be every time you see me from now on, there'll be paper clips and post-it notes and packs of fucking felt tip pens falling out of your ass.
Yeah, that um, could have gone better. But you know, clearly I still remain the best candidate for the job. I mean, just look at the competition. Where should I get it? Um, the position? Um, well, that is a really good question. In fact, it's very good. You wasted my fucking time. Yes. No, no, um, uh, oh god. Um, I am so enthusiastic, though, uh, and I'm committed. I am committed to my job, no matter what. I I'm like a, a... I am like a fucking student housing terrorist or something. <laughs> yeah. That's not... No. Oh, no. No, because that that's sounds really bad. Suicide bomber. Will I be considering Bin Laden for the position? Are you fucking kidding? No, it's... It's exactly like what my father once told me. You know, we're all on the same ladder, and you have to treat those beneath you with the respect they deserve. By which he meant kick them in the fucking face until they fall off the fucking ladder onto one of those big steel spike things. Hey, these are thin rungs, okay? There's not a lot of room. Yeah, Flossy's fucking crackers. It's, uh, it's an OCD thing. No, it's not! It is. She does this whenever she gets upset. <laughs> oh, come on! What exactly is wrong with that? What? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, no, don't, don't, hey, bug, bugger off, bugger off, um, hey, hey, whoa, hey, wait, shh, shh, it's okay, it's all right, you're, um, you're, you're, you're just having a bad day, it's fine, we won't hold it against you, I, I, I mean, you know, it's a stressful day for everyone, um, I mean, it's all new, it's all, it's, I mean, we're, we're, we're all struggling, <laughs> all of us, you know, and, um, you are. Uh, you you just need to do whatever works for you. Yeah. So, whatever works. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Flossie. Don't fucking call me that. <laughs> Shit. I completely forgot her name's not Flossie. It's Charlotte, really. I just nicknamed her Flossie because of the whole, you know, flossing. <laughs> you're like one of those girls that takes like forever in the morning. I'm actually not. I actually only take like maybe 15 minutes. Say <laughs> seat man. What did you say, Herman? Ich habe kurz und knapp gesagt, dass du hässlich bist. Das stimmt. You know, I I never really know if he can understand English or not. You know, because I mean, he can't speak it, obviously. But sometimes he does this, this, this laugh thing, and and every so often I catch him just staring at me, like like I've said something really stupid, and I haven't. Yeah, I, I can speak English. Hey, no, I just don't ever want to talk to this fuckwit. This is cloud. Huh? What did you put on your CV anyway? Because I never know what to put on the the interests and hobbies bit. Oh, under passions and talents. Yeah, um... God. What haven't I put? Uh, horse riding, falconry, fencing... Um, oh yeah, travelling. I spent my gap year in Thailand. Oh, I've been travelling too. Oh really, where have you been? Uh, 
Yeah, sure, I'm Ben, and this is... Oh, Annie, hi. Sorry. And what are you doing right now? Uh, we're just looking for houses, really, because for next year, you know, because halls are a bit, you know... <laughs> you cold? Oh. Yeah, because halls are a bit naff, you know, because, um... Oh, it's cold, it's cold. Uh, but yeah, so... I mean, you don't really live on campus, do you, Annie, so... No, no, I, um... I actually live with three of my ex-boyfriends, <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ben isn't my ex-boyfriend, no. by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah. no, of course. No. Uh, oh, oh, right, no. I mean, we're just like brother and sister, really. Yeah, so. from like different families. No, 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 no. We're just mates, you know, nothing like that. It's good to have that with someone, you know, just like nothing weird or anything like that. I mean, she feels the same way about it, so. Yeah, so uh, Ben, he's lovely. I mean, we've been friends for a really, really long time and he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. So... Yeah. Sorry, what was the question? Oh, I just asked what courses you were doing. Um, yeah. I mean, I said she's nice. Did you have any other questions? You're not dummy nose. Um, no, no, we're actually here to see the house. I am. Um, I like your mug. Would you like it with brown sugar? And the brown sugar. We'll find somewhere. I just don't know why no one got told we were coming. Yeah, isn't that the agency's job? Um, okay, how is that my job? <laughs> no, I, I believe you're the cocksucker, my dear friend. Okay. These fucking people. These fucking people. Um, but we. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no. I, I'm serious. He never takes it off. Right, right, Flossie. He never does, does he? He never takes it off. No. Okay. Okay. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Can you, can you like keep the camera on him, right, whilst he's eating? Because he's bound to take it off. Okay. What the fuck? The fuck? It's fucking frightening. He never takes it off. Oh my god. He could be anyone. Pay attention. That's not. If I could. Thank you. So, it gives me great pleasure to announce that receiving promotion today is. No one. You're all shit. You're all so. shit. I mean, I would try and come up with something nice to say. Something like did the best with what you've got. But that would still be like praising somebody who sculpts out of shit. So, there you go. I'll be in my office. Excuse me? You can't do this. Do you know who I am? I am Alexander Bamford Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes! Okay, twat I, of old twats. I demand to know why I did not get your job. You demand? Yes, without all your fucking swearing, okay? This is not fair! You know what, kid? I'm sorry. No, really, I am. But I have neither the time nor the fucking crayons to explain it to you. I thought that was quite rude. And, um... It's brought up a lot of stuff. When I was, I had a crayon as a small child, and if you look at hair, ah, 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 you can see where it stains the gum. 
and the father always referred to it as the beginning of the end which I think is a bit harsh I prefer to see it as you know as the start of a bright and colourful future it's not fair Alexei a crayon that's actually a dying I didn't know your sort could make tea. Good on you, man, for learning our customs. I'm proud of you. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liba. What's the thing? Yeah, of course, no? Yeah. At least you made it for everyone. Thank you, Herman. Gerne. In deinem habe ich Whisky gekippt, meine Liebe. Post. Well, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that I've lived through the trenches after today. I've kind of had my World War I, my Hindenburg. Is yeah. Um, I know I think the mantra is, you know, you win some and you lose some. And that's what my Nana always, oh my God. No, sorry, I, I just remembered that it was her funeral this morning and I was totally meant to go, but I, I thought I was getting manager today, so... And I did visit her, you know, before... When she was lying there in the hospital, just... With all these wires attached to her, like she was... Plugged into the wall. Like a robot. But she was taking up all the sockets and I needed to charge my phone really quickly, so... Whoa, no, no, any, it, was, it was a big misunderstanding. It wasn't actually my fault. You know, I... It, it just turns out that you can't unplug stuff at a hospital. You know, not even for like half an hour, which... You know, they should really put up a sign or something, because... I'm sure I'm not the first one to make that mistake. Mother said it was a really nice funeral. <laughs> Yeah, so today wasn't great, but you know, I try to start every day with a great smile and a clean conscience. Oh, oh no, hang on. With a clean smile and a great... Oh, 